YouTubers. Well, it's December 24th. It's Christmas Eve 2019. And it's uh, 6... 6.40 p.m. It's dark out. Some folks say they like uh, nighttime videos of the uh, tractor working. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can make this work. I hastily put in the GoPro Black 7 and uh, I have an external battery hooked up to it an external mic hooked up to it so we're going to see what we got done here now see if it's going to work out i hope the view is good it looks like it's good from the viewfinder so we're running a uh, kubota 5740 2012 model with i'll tell you now in a second 393 hours on it so, we're going to see if we can do a little bit of snow clearing. Now you see those lights blinking there in the front, don't be alarmed. There are lights that I put in to actually remind me that I have the uh, park brake on. I take off the park brake and it goes off. So, hopefully this camera will stay running because I haven't used this in a while. Last time I used this one was on the motorcycle have more if this one decides it's not going to cooperate. Got to find out where the lights are too because it's been a while. And uh, yeah, last year we never done any snow clearing videos because I had lifted up the snow blower here because we had no snow or very little, not enough to justify a video. So let's get her going and see what happens. I got big old winter boots on now and I'm not used to using them either. Turn on a bit of heat. So everything, I, I got a mat here on the floor too that soaks up the water. That's kind of getting in my way so I just push that out of the way. Well, there you can see now what we have there for snow. Just making sure that this is still running, and it is, so I don't trust some technology. Yeah, it's cutting out on me, so I don't know why. I'll try to keep her running. too heavy. Usually when we get snow over on this end of the island, it's usually wet, but uh, it's not wet this evening. It's a little bit slippery underneath all the same. Back it in the shop. Hope I don't run into the ramps. Like I say, it takes a while to get back into this stuff. Okay, I'll put down the garage door. There it is. videos because I get dinged for copyright infringement. Some people 
people ask me, uh, I've mentioned this in other videos too, some people ask me how I, how can I keep my steering, maintain my steering control when I'm turning with a plow on. And the trick is, is not to use your float position. The trick is to lift up your plow just enough to take the weight, to put the weight back on the front end. Because when you're using float, you're taking a lot of weight off the front end. So I very seldom use float. Maybe uh, if I'm doing a long parking lot or something like when we were snow clearing commercially, I do float a little more often. But uh, hardly ever now. Now I'll be honest with you, when I'm uh, plowing by myself, I'm usually a lot faster than this, but when you're trying to do a video, you don't want to do it too quick. You want to kind of try to enjoy it and let everybody else see it. check to make sure this this thing is still uh, still recording and it is okay this GoPro 7 black it's a good it's a good camera the only thing is I'm not quite used to using it I've had it on the motorcycle it works really well but I'm, you can go over the roughest kind of road on a motorcycle and you won't even notice it with that camera those of you who've uh, watched us build our mods, design them to build our mods, will probably notice that there's a few things on this tractor that's not uh, normal. The 5740 didn't come with a smokestack or an exhaust stack. This one has. And it's a kit that I built many moons ago. I never ever produced it. But it's a great, uh, it's a great system. It keeps the soot off everything. And right there, I'm plowing out where we keep our uh, generator. Yeah, it's got automatic wipers on it. Front wiper. Uh, there's a sensor right here, and when it senses a lot of. Uh, or some moisture on the windshield, it'll automatically sweep. It's got a uh, Grammar Air Ride seat. I was one of the first ones to ever put one in a 5740, and I've helped a few uh, a few friends of mine put them in theirs, like Larry Shy in the United States. Larry put. Uh, Larry put a seat in his like ours. I'll tell you, you haven't experienced you haven't experienced a ride until you put an air ride seat in your tractor. It's unbelievable. Now, I'm not going to be too particular with the how I plow this tonight because to tell you the truth, we're only going to be doing it again tomorrow. So. not going to worry too much about it. I just thought it would be nice seeing it's Christmas Eve to take you all along with me. And uh, seeing you haven't been in the 5740 in a while. I even forgot to put my markers up on the grass, so we might get a chance to mow the grass this evening. And of course we have the DX, but the DX is our summer tractor. I, uh, I'll admit it, I'm just not tough enough to use a BX without a cab. It's pretty slippery under that. So a 
apparently Santa just flew over Newfoundland, so he's on his way to start his night's work. And I hope my little granddaughter, Taylor, hi Taylor, I hope she's going to be good tonight so when Santa comes to visit her, she'll get lots of presents. But she's been a good girl, I know that for a fact. covered up for the winter. Those are you those of you who watched our videos will have seen that in the summer and know that there was a waterfalls and stuff there. Well that's the pump has been removed now for the winter and the uh, there's a there's a double diaphragm air pump on the side of it with four air stones inside and the fish are pretty well hibernated now. In the past, what I've had to do is uh, periodically look in under the cover just to make sure that the ear stones were still working because if they're not working, the fish can't survive. They won't eat for four or five months, but they still need their ear. So, uh, what I've done different this year is I put a, uh, a Wi-Fi or a wireless camera, HD camera, in there and uh, I can dial up the camera and uh, look at the water and I can even see the fish actually and I can tell if everything is okay and if they're, uh, if they're pumping, if, if the ear stones are pumping so I don't have to disturb the cover and of course, when you get snow like this, it creates a bit of a problem trying to find to uh, trying to uh, look under the cover. Woof. Man. And of course, when you run this stuff over, it packs down, eh? Just a fabulous tractor. I love this tractor. The 60 series is a beautiful tractor as well. But uh, this one here don't have any foolish uh, emission systems on it, so I kind of, I kind of like that. Well, the only thing it's got on it is an EGR, so. I had up to four cameras in the cab of this, 
but the editing is brutal. Like a 20 minute video with three or four cameras in this is two and a half, three hours editing. So I really didn't feel like doing that on Christmas Eve. So we went with one forward camera. So I'll just push the snow forward so you can see what I'm doing. That's fair enough, eh? Maybe we'll get into the multi-camera stuff again when, uh, when time allows.
going to plow it now until it's all over with. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but hey, it's a good opportunity to do a video for you. because uh, we're going to get dumped on again tomorrow. stone part of it. The rest of it was paved.
people say uh, tractors with the cabs are expensive, but I'm telling you something. If you buy a uh, factory cab on a Kubota, you will not be disappointed. There's not a draft comes in this thing. It's crazy hot in the winter and it's crazy cold in the summer with the AC. I've had it so cold on this that when I got out in the summer, my glasses steamed up. Shelter door is bad, but uh, Shelter Logic gave us a new cover under warranty. Just never got a chance to put it on, so the next fine day, I guess now I'll put the door on at least and do the rest of it next summer. that done. folks are out shoveling or using your handheld snowblower be very careful 
It's very hard on the old kicker when your uh, old kicker is not used to it. Believe me, I know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little this little video. It was a chance to get together and have a little chat. I'll wish you all again a Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous, healthy New Year. And uh, I hope you all enjoy time with your families and friends and, and whatever. So. We shall soon call it a day. Thanks for watching, folks. You guys take care, and God bless.